Yo folks, what's good? So two refreshed molluscs were spotted, and we got some pretty interesting stuff to talk about. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So this is the first molluscs spotted. This was spotted by the kilowatts. So everything looks normal about it. We got the chrome delete, the new front bumper, wider body. I actually noticed something. If you look at the bottom of this refreshed S, you can see there are like these little white squares and rectangles like hanging. I'm not so sure what these are. Maybe it's not put together since this is a test meal, but I'm not so sure what these are. For those of you who know about this, let me know in the comments down below. But other than that, everything is normal. This has the Tempest wheels. Here's a shot from the windshield. You can see this model does have the yoke steering wheel. And I'm really curious if this yoke steering wheel had the rough cut at the bottom or the chrome trim curves underneath it. I'm really curious. And you can see the screen is tilted. I'm 99% confident that screen tilt mechanism is going to be covered up because these type of mechanisms can lead to injuries on your finger. But yeah, you got that ebony decor and you can see what the cup holders look like underneath the sliding door. This is the black interior. I did notice one thing though in the interior. I actually thought the leather on top of the dashboard was actually that hard plasticky leather. But in this image, it appears to be it's that vegan leather because it has that stitching on it. And that is exactly what we saw on the new Model 3 and Y center console. On the side of it, you had the vegan leather on side of it. And the new center console has that stitching on it. So that's sweet to see. It has stitching on top of the dashboard. I prefer more vegan leather than that hard plastic leather. But other than that, everything in this interior looks normal. Nothing new that hasn't been announced. But now let's get to the main topic. The autopilot cameras have new heat elements and they look very different compared to the old ones. And you can see they're like a triangle shaped, whereas in the old ones, they were just straight horizontal lines. So I'm really curious how this is gonna be. I wonder if it will make any difference to heating the cameras. Will it be better? Will it be worse? We can only tell when we get our hands on one of these. So yeah, it looks interesting. So this is the second refreshed S which does have the arachnid wheels. I love them. So same thing, everything in this interior is put together, just like at the one that was spotted by the kilowatts that we just took a look at. That's a sign of more parts for these refreshed S and X's are coming. This model does have that beautiful white interior. And what's really sweet to see is the lower part of the dash has that white leather. So you can't really tell in this picture, but it is gonna match up with the door panels if you get the white interior. This has the yoke steering wheel also. So I'm curious to see if this yoke steering wheel has that rough cut at the bottom or does the chrome trim curve underneath it. In this image, you can see on the screen, it appears to be, it's just the map. We don't see the widgets for like the Bluetooth or the music. It appears to be, it's just the map, which makes me to believe you could enlarge the widgets just like on iOS. So that will be really sweet. You will now be getting such a better view. You got your instrument cluster, which will show various vehicle information. Now we have so much more space for other stuff on the horizontal screen in the center, unlike the three and the Y. So yeah, this is gonna be sweet. So I wanna share one thing before we end this video. We are so close to 300 subscribers. I can't believe it, it's been like, three weeks since we hit 200 subscribers and we're currently at 268. You guys are awesome. I can't thank you guys enough. So yeah, let's make it to 300 subscribers for watching. Consider liking and commenting on this video, subscribing to this channel, turning on the notifications so you don't miss out on any new video posted on this channel and see you guys in the next one.